Okay, so putting values in the title of my video will probably not attract my usual crowd. It feels like political conservatives have turned values into a dirty word, and it means something backwards, something irrational. But there are things that I believe in strongly. There are things that I believe are right and things that I believe are wrong. There are truths that I hold as true. I have values that are important to me. I believe in social equality, in feminism, in fighting racism and homophobia and transphobia and discrimination in all its forms. These are things that I believe with my heart to be true. And that's great, Noel, but what am I doing? What am I doing that makes my values mean anything? And it can take a lot of effort to live in a way, to borrow a phrase, that is commensurate with your values. It can be exhausting, and you can fail. In fact, you will fail. Loads. And that's a really hard thing to admit. It's not about what you have done. It is about what you are doing. What are you doing now? What is the decision you are going to make today? How are you going to live in a way that supports what you believe today? I feel like I have been a little lost and for all my fussing about jobs and stuff, I'm at my most unhappy when I feel unhelpful, when I feel like I have given up, when I have disengaged from the things that matter to me, when I have lost my drive. The feeling that you are contributing positively can just make you feel so grounded and centered and connected and it is a feeling you want to come back to once you've experienced it. And does that mean that you are a terrible person if instead of going to that protest you stayed in your pajamas and watched Adventure Time? No. You can't change the world every second of every day. Because you're not responsible for ending wars or curing diseases single-handedly, but you are responsible for how you treat the people in your life the words you use, the actions you choose day to day. And it isn't always easy. And it might not make you popular. You don't want to be that girl. The one who always has to have an opinion. The one who won't find the joke funny because she knows someone who that kind of joke cuts deep. Well, you know what? Be that girl. Be that anyone. Be the person that you can believe in. You can't know how your decision not to accept what you believe to be wrong will affect someone else, will change someone else's mind, will reach out to someone in a way that you couldn't have predicted. But you will always have less regrets if you acted in the way that you can be proud of. sermon over. See you next week, guys.